For nearly a century, our civilization has been obsessed with the idea of a large, hairy, mysteriously elusive creature that lives deep within the dense woodland and remote mountain landscapes across the planet. The Yeti, the Sasquatch, Bigfoot, the wild ape-like race of giant bipedal humanoids that have manifested in the whisperings of folklore and oral tradition for thousands of years. But have you ever heard of the Skunk Ape? No? Well, I wouldn't besmirch you if you hadn't, but as fate would have it, the peculiar place known only as Florida has their own Yeti mascot, and generations of Floridians are absolutely convinced that the skunk ape is a very real creature out in the Everglades and unforgiving forests of the Sunshine State. But what if all of those people were actually onto something? Well, let's find out. Hello internet and welcome back to the most inquisitive channel on YouTube, life's biggest questions. As per usual, I'll be your disembodied floating voice Jack Finch as today we kick back on our deck chair and curiously ask the question, what if the skunk ape was real? Roll the clip. Now, we can't talk about the skunk ape without addressing the root of the folklore legend, because let's not beat around the bush, these guys are two peas in a pod, a chip off the old block, an apple that doesn't fall far from the tree, uh, that, that doesn't really work, but you get the picture. The Sasquatch, in its original urban legend, is a large and mysterious humanoid creature purported to inhabit the wild and forested areas of Oregon and the west coast of North America. The name Sasquatch comes from an anglicization of the name Sasquet, from the Halkaleum language spoken by First Nations people in southwestern British Columbia. It makes sense then that legend permeated its way across North America and across the continent any dense areas of isolated woodland or remote areas quickly became synonymous with the Sasquatch legend. Most people who believe in these creatures or claim to have seen one assert that they are hair covered bipeds with ape like features up to 8 feet tall that leave correspondingly large footprints, hence the name. Bigfoot. They are generally characterized as non-aggressive animals whose shyness and human-like intelligence make them elusive and thus rarely seen, though some wilderness travelers claim to have smelled their stench or heard their screams and whistles. That stench is pretty important because enter the skunk ape, also known as the swamp cabbage man, stink ape, swamp ape, miaka ape, Florida Bigfoot, or my personal favorite, the Swamp Squatch, which is the closest to Sam Squanch, and no, it's not Sam Losco. Reports of the skunk ape were particularly common in the 1960s and 1970s, and it reached a critical mass in 1974, where sightings of a large, foul-smelling, hairy, ape-like creature which ran upright on two legs were reported en masse in suburban neighborhoods of Dade County. In actual fact though, it was down to the skeptical investigator Joe Nickel, the man responsible for debunking new numerous paranormal cases across North America who reported that the numerous sightings of the skunk ape were actually misinterpreted sightings of the black bear and determined that it was likely that the other sightings were misidentifications of the same wildlife. But what if old Joe Nickel didn't know his black bear from his elbow? What if our man was merely an expert of not seeing the forest for the trees and by burying his head in the sand damned an intelligent species to near extinction? Let me explain. In the Everglades of Florida, the area most hotly considered the stomping ground for the skunk ape is a place known as Big Cypress National Preserve, an area that encompasses 720,000 acres of swamp and grassland. However, that comprises an even larger area of the Big Cypress Swamp that makes up nearly an absolutely massive million acres of isolated, remote, unprotected land. That's a lot of space for a skunk ape to hide, right? And it's also a lot of space for an endangered species to be threatened by climate change and environmental damage. Let me introduce you to Dave Sheely, a man who is, for all intents and purposes, the cryptid conservation equivalent of Jane Goodall. You know, gorillas in the mist, just with smelly cabbage creatures. And he insists that right now there are between seven and nine skunk apes roaming wildly amongst the Everglades. According to Sheely, an average male skunk ape reportedly stands six to seven feet tall and weighs roughly 450 pounds. Females are considerably smaller, standing only five to six feet tall and weighing only up to 250 pounds. Both sexes of the skunk ape are covered in long reddish or black hair, similar to that of an orangutan or gorilla, and stand upright on two legs. According to him, Dave Sheely has seen a skunk ape on three separate occasions, and to him, the evidence is startling. 
After spending his life in the Big Cypress Swamp, he's made countless castings of their footprints and has even collected seasonal stool samples, their poo indicating that the skunk apes are omnivorous and that their diet consists of mainly bird nestlings, wild hogs and native Floridian berries. Since his first sighting at the age of 10, Dave Sheely has been documenting his methods on how to bait skunk apes. He's even compiled these tips into his Everglades Skunk Ape Research Field Guide and his tips include instructions on how to properly wet lima beans, allegedly the skunk ape's favourite treat, and a stern reminder to always store deer liver on ice in case you ever need to entice one. The thing is, if the skunk ape was real, Dave Sheely would very rapidly become the leading expert in skunk ape conservation. Because for Dave, the skunk ape is a very real and very endangered species. Since 2016, the Big Cypress National Preserve has been under threat of private companies drilling for oil and gas, massive trucks plow along nearly 1,000 miles of new trails on a daily basis while the companies conduct their seismic testing, and the potential devastation to Florida's delicate ecosystem is an ever-growing threat looming on the horizon. If the skunk ape was real and things continued as they are, we may not ever truly know of their existence. And what a shame that would be. Well, there we have it. Question is, the way that we see things going if the skunk ape was real. Why don't you let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Before we depart though, let's read out some of your more creative comments from over the past few days. Pikachu Overlord says, what if we had our DNA replaced with donuts? Ah, uh, well, I'd love to answer that question with a witty rebuttal, but the real truth is that somewhere out there in the infinite cosmic complexities of the multiverse, DNA is donuts. So maybe you're just onto something. Potato Salad says, gonna buy you a pint, Jack. Come brum now. Wow, when you put it like that, I guess I'll just have to 0121 do one right out of here. That's all we've got time for in today's video, folks. Show's over, but cheers for sticking around all the way until the end. If you were a fan of this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe bell, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your disembodied floating voice, Jack Finch. You've been watching Life's Biggest Questions, and until next time, you take it easy. <laughs>